What's up guys? The long awaited KTM 300 slash gas gas 300 250R is underway. This is the first step to actually getting our billet frame finished. We're gonna mock this thing up in a steel frame. So we're gonna do a complete walk around today and uh, show you guys what we've got going on with this project. Let's get into it. Guys, so there was a ton of modifications we had to do to this frame. It's pretty unbelievable. Um, everything had to get cut up. So I'm gonna insert some clips of what we actually cut out of this frame when it was in raw form. Now our customer actually sent this to us um, just for a project. So he, he basically wanted this bike built, but in a stock 250R frame. So right here we've got a 1988 TRX 250R frame. It got completely cut so we could fit the KTM 300 engine. I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I guess where we started, all the pieces we cut out and then we'll circle back and we'll, uh, we'll talk about all the pieces that were finished. What do we have here? This is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I know we've talked about custom frames and all that fun stuff, but we're starting off with a Gas Gas 300 two stroke 2025 in a TRX 250R frame. This one's gonna be a fabricated build. It's actually gonna make designing my aluminum slash billet frame a lot easier because I'm gonna be able to build this and I'm actually gonna scan it into the computer and uh, make it come to life. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys where we we're at with this. This is the uh, start of the project. So more or less just cut the frame up. I've got the engine sitting where I want it. The pipe clears, very happy with it. The sprocket's about where I want it for height. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a deep dive into this and uh, let's talk about what we had to do to get it to this point. Basically, see, I've got this sitting on shims right now. This is just a starting point. Now you always want to start with your swing arm pivot. Now the problem with the dirt bike, the uh, pivot is actually larger. So this is the stock aluminum bushing. Yes, they're aluminum, they're not steel. This goes into the engine case right here. So we went ahead and we machined some new ones and we actually brought it down to the TRX 250R size pivot bolt. Um, more or less, this thing hangs down pretty far in the back. We had to actually cut the back tube out of the frame and I'm actually glad I did that because it was full of rot and rust. I have to come over here and kind of see what we had going on here. Nothing's falling out yet, but this tube actually had some rot coming through the bottom. These did too. So I just went ahead and cut it out. We have a fixture for uh, putting the linkage tab back on, so that's not a big deal. But uh, more or less, guys, we just chopped the bottom of the frame out. I took the back uh, engine mount out for the uh, stock TRX 250R. So I'm basically going to recreate this. And it's just not going to have any of these uh, tabs on it because we don't need it anymore. But I am going to put this brace back in. And, of course, in the front, we uh, had to make some clearance for the pipe here. So we're going to do some sort of a cool mount on the bottom. A, uh, this is an old frame, you know, it's been around for many years. We've got some rot going on, so I'm possibly going to actually cut these bottom tubes out and just replace them. But for now, this is a great starting point. So this guy here, which used to be here, we don't need it anymore. So we're going to end up doing a cradle. We're going to have a cross tube going across here, and that's going to actually cradle the front of the engine. Um, in terms of the head stay, it's very easy to actually make a new head stay using the factory mounting locations. And if you look back here, the intake is actually right where I want it, which is really cool. Recap, right here we've got uh, the factory front frame pieces. So right here, guys, we've got the factory front frame pieces. I just want to show you like how drastic the change was. Um, the reason for that was to actually get clearance for the pipe. So the exhaust is actually going to sit just like that. I did not want to be cutting up the exhaust because let's be real, these guys perfect how these things run. Um, we did that on the Banshee track, which didn't actually affect how the bike ran once we cut it up because we left the overall shape the same. We just rotated everything. But the goal was to be able to order an FMF exhaust for this, which we're actually going to do on this build. And uh, this back bar right here on the frame, so this got cut out too. 
So normally this would have the motor mount hanging down. So we cut all that off, put a new bar in that's thicker wall tubing. Um, this bottom frame rail right here, guys, we ended up cutting this whole deal out. So this got cut on both sides right here. We took the factory linkage mount off. We replaced this tube right here with a thicker wall tube. We boxed it, we added some corner gussets, and of course we added pieces of our gusset kit on this frame and uh, got it back to where it should be. So definitely a lot of work to, uh, to get it all working. Um, we made some pretty beefy front motor mounts that are gonna sit just like this. And don't worry guys, we're gonna install the, uh, the engine in this, in this video just to show you what it looks like. So this is more or less an engine cradle. And uh, this is a counterbalance two stroke, so it's not really gonna vibrate, which is awesome. Um, the betas are uh, counterbalance two that we're gonna be doing. Um, those, I guess, do vibrate a little bit more than the KTMs, but again, being it has a counterbalance here, it's not a big deal. I think it's gonna be awesome. The next thing we're gonna talk yeah. about, we've got the swing arm. Now to get this engine to actually fit, we had to do some custom pivot work on this swing arm. So we basically took the TRX pivots, we shortened up one side, we're running a custom bearing on this side with the factory uh, 250R bearing kit. And uh, we've got the TRX 250R linkage. Now we're gonna look into doing some no-link options too when we come out with our frame. But right now we do like the TRX 250R linkage. And then in the rear of the swing arm, it's the same as all of our track kits and all of our conversion swing arms. It's all TRX 450R. So carrier brakes, axle hubs, all TRX 450R in the rear. We just wanted all modern components. All right, um, what else we got, Shane? <laughs> all right, guys, so you're not gonna put a dirt black engine into an ATV frame with the stock engine bushings. The TRX 250R stainless pivot bolt that we make, and you can see how much play there actually is in there. So we went ahead and we machined some engine collars on our CNC lathe. So we've got new engine collars installed. You can kind of see the whole size difference right there. So that's the size difference. So we've got it uh, sized for the TRX. And uh, again, basically just making all new motor mounts, all the frame mods, and of course this guy to get this to work. But uh, let's get the engine installed and then this thing's actually gonna look like something for the video. And uh, you guys can get, a, I guess, a real idea of what it's actually going to look like. So we're going to put it on time-lapse mode. We're going to get the engine installed, and uh, we'll talk about it. Guys, so the cool thing about this motor mount right here, we're actually able to tie in the exhaust mount, which is pretty nice. So I'm just going to show you guys how that's all going to go. And as you can see by the time lapse, uh, this is probably the easiest engine to install ever, other than a TRX 250R. Um, on a TRX 250R, you do not have your pivot bolt going through your engine. You have it going through a bracket on the uh, 86, 87, 88, 89. They uh, basically just have a motor mount hanging on the bottom and uh, you'd have your bracket on the top here. Um, if you know 250Rs, you understand what I'm saying. If you don't know them, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's fine. The point of this is you're going to a different design. You now have your engine tied into the pivot bolt. So it's kind of more of a modern design, similar to a lot of the four strokes. So, uh, but yeah, back to the exhaust. The whole goal of this was, again, not cutting up exhaust. Um, there's a lot of manufacturers that do really nice aftermarket exhaust for these uh, KTM and Gas Gas 300s. Um, you can get 500 kits for these with, again, custom exhaust. We didn't want to tamper with that, so we simply just modified the frame. Um, we designed it to actually clear the engine and the exhaust. So you can see how easy this fits. It's like two seconds. That's pretty much it, very simple. I'm gonna grab my uh, spring tool. Now, if you guys know TRX 250Rs, you know that the pipe generally wraps around this tube right here and goes back up. I think this is awesome. It keeps it away from the tire, keeps it away from rocks hitting it. Can't tell you how many of them I've had dinged up, but yeah, it's just like any old two-stroke. You're just uh, installing a spring. So simple little spring puller action. Just like that. Yeah, these springs are not hard to put on either. All right. So 
So right here, guys, you can kind of see where the exhaust mount goes. Just ties in just like that. I've just got uh, two, two bolts here. We've got a slotted hole here. And we're retaining the factory bushing on the opposite side that's on the pipe. Kind of see how this goes around the frame. It comes up over here. We're gonna end up doing a custom mid pipe right here for the silencer. That's the only exhaust mod we're gonna be doing. So it's really not a big deal. Again, I just did not wanna be cutting up expansion chambers. But yeah, that looks, uh, that looks killer. Very happy with it. Like I was saying guys, there was a lot of clearancing to do on this frame to get this to actually fit in a TRX 250R chassis. You can see all that right there. And that's why we're doing this. So this is again, step one to doing our billet frame. Um, we've already got most of the frame actually done. It's, it's pretty much 100% drawn and uh, ready to start machining, but we wanted to get this project done first before we went crazy, because we're gonna learn a lot. I mean, we're building a TRX 250R with the factory frame that's modified. So now when we go to our billet frame, we're actually gonna add a little bit more clearance. There's gonna probably be about a half inch of clearance and that's gonna allow us to run different engines, um, everything from a 450 to a 250 to a 300. Um, Beta's got the new 350 that came out. I think we need to get our hands on one of those. And um, we've got a couple Beta builds that are in the works right now. But yeah, this stuff just takes time. This cannot be done overnight. Um, we're just trying to take our time with this project and uh, make it perfect. Um, beautiful thing that happened over here, the intake lined up. Imagine that, right where it should be. Um, let me get a better shot here. So we've actually got some clearance here, which normally on a 250R with a big bore, your intake boot's hitting here. So we've eliminated that issue. We've got plenty of clearance for the sprocket. Everything's where I want it with all the measurements. It's just above the pivot bolt, which is where we like it. The coil bracket was pretty simple. Made a little bracket here two weld nuts on the frame, custom bracket, plenty of room for the coil wire and the spark plug cap. We are doing a custom aluminum gas tank. So that's one of the next things we're working on. I'm gonna insert some clips of that. Got a bunch of room right here. So being the carburetor isn't sitting high like it would on a TRX, we're actually gonna bring the fuel tank down like you guys saw in the renderings. And uh, it's gonna allow some uh, added fuel capacity. We're also gonna bring the top of the tank up about an inch. And uh, again, just get some more fuel capacity and uh, take advantage of this extra room that we've got going on right here. It's gonna be nice. Shane's gonna go ahead and just lay out our harness here. Just wanna give you guys a visual of what we're working with for electrical. Um, this is fuel injected. We've got a modern ECU, we've got a uh, Pretty hefty harness, but it's not bad. It's got really nice connectors. Not saying KTM and Gas Gas don't ever have electrical issues, because they definitely do, but this is way better than something that's 40 years old. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Not too bad. It's uh, quite simple. Now I know from the other side, it kind of looks like the coolant outlet is gonna hit the pipe, but it's actually perfect. Um, purposely made sure that was good. And that's the benefits of going with the factory exhaust. We don't have anything hitting. We don't want to have any burnt hoses and all that fun stuff. Shifter clears. And again, guys, this is all going to be different on the billet frame. We're going to add some clearance, but uh, I really just want to give you guys a visual on what we're working with. I'm pretty happy with it. Another uh, beautiful update using the KTM slash gas gas power plant. I've got the hydraulic clutch right here. Uh, that's gonna feel really nice. So we're excited about that. I've had tape wrapped around this thing for like six months now because we, uh, we don't wanna scratch it up as we're uh, taking this engine in and out about 40 to 50 times, getting everything where we want it. Simple way to put your bearings in. If you can't get them, just use a vise with a rag.
Yeah, one thing I really like about the 250R pivots is the nice bushings on each end. Um, like I said, we ran a custom smaller bearing here, which I don't think is going to affect it. It's a uh, very similar size to the uh, dirt black ones, which we have no issues with. And other than cutting the tube down, we also cut a custom tube that was shorter. But yeah, get the bearings in, we're going to get it installed, give you guys a real look at what this thing's looking like. Honestly, the rest of it is just 250R stuff. Um, we're going to have a custom radiator inlet. It's going to go to that hose over here. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Custom gas tank, custom intake. So I guess there is some more stuff to do. But uh, to me, that's the easy stuff. This was the hard step. This is what takes months. And uh, when you're trying to run a business and uh, keep everything rolling. <laughs> Projects like this, they take up a lot of your time, so you really got to break them up. You've, uh, you know, you got to work with the customer, work on their budget, work on their timeline too. So a lot of you guys kind of always ask, uh, why aren't these done faster? Well, I'm not just on my timeline, so it's a lot of back and forth, waiting for parts, waiting for payments, and finding time. A little wiggle, wiggle. Just gonna slide the bolt in on this side. Uh, just hold it for a sec. Swing arm fit good, very happy with it. Again, we're converting to TRX 450R in the rear. So TRX 450R axle, caliper, brakes, carrier, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna do a KTM style chain slider in the front. There's just not a lot of room with that skinny pivot, but everything fit, everything looks great. Very happy with it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this is a modern style. So you guys can see what I was talking about earlier. The pivot bolt runs through the engine, just like a modern four stroke. Um, this is the, obviously a two stroke. But uh, the TRX 250R would not have that. It would have just had a motor mount. So this is a lot better setup. Um, it helps, honestly, just for keeping the frame from twisting. Having the engine through the pivot like that, it's way better design. So just want to also note, we are going to add an exhaust mount on here. So we added two weld nuts on here. Um, this is the factory gas tank mount. So we're going to have a bracket that comes down and goes to this exhaust hanger. We just want to allow it to rotate for the moment until we get the silencer work done. Again, we've got some adjustment up here with this bracket. And once the silencer is dialed in, we've got the mid pipe cut. We're gonna finalize the bracket for right here. But overall with these rubber mounts, it's a really nice setup. It's gonna reduce vibration. It's, uh, it's gonna be sweet. It's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, this thing is coming together beautiful. Uh, we've got a brand new radiator right here. So we actually don't have to do any radiator mods. We're just gonna do custom hoses, which is not a big deal. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, the only custom mod to get this to work other than bolt in for this is we're going to do a custom silencer. But other than that, stay tuned for the next video. Um, we're also going to be releasing some videos talking about the uh, billet swing arm, frame, and A-arms. Um, it's again all going to be based around this geometry that we figured out and uh, we're going to go from there. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.